Uh, throughout my internship, I prepared for USMLE. I got a good score in step one. I went to US. I stayed in US for almost six months. I cleared my step two. I did almost five or six months of clerkship, basically clinical work there. And somewhere in December, uh, this was 2010. Somewhere in December 2010, I decided that I'm not liking it here. You know, people used to say I was in New York City. If you stay in New York City, after some time you start liking it. But I was not liking it and I decided that let me go back home and uh, I will continue my education from India only. So I reached home, I reached Delhi somewhere in the December end and I still remember our exam was on 8th of Feb. So when I reached back home, there were like 40, 42 days left and I decided that let me give it a try. I thought I was in let me give it a try. And those 40 days I studied like, you know, I studied a lot. And the whole thing, the only thing that I did was I was studying and sleeping, two things I was doing. And somehow I managed to get a rank of 125 in that exam only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was the time when I realized ki, you know, entrance exam preparation can be done in many ways, right? One way is the classical way, which is the better way, studying a lot from the day one. But then there are other things that can be done. And that is where I you know, started becoming a bit interested in this whole entrance exam thing. I did my MD in psychiatry. Uh, after 2014, I started uh, teaching. I wrote two books. One is review of psychiatry, one is six book of psychiatry. Then I taught for many institutes. And last year, some of us, I'm sure you know all, all these names. Sir, Dr. Gobind Rai Gurg, sir. Dr. Zaina Bora, ma'am. Yes, Dr. Poor Mehra, sir. Dr. Spur, sir. Dr. Vivek Jain. All of us decided that let us come together and let's you know start teaching our way, where we decide what is to be done, where we decide what is to be taught and what is not to be taught. All those things together, and that is how we started the Cerebellum Academy. So I would talk briefly about Cerebellum Academy later on, but you know, as medicos and as doctors of this country, all of us can be very proud of the fact that. A couple of doctors can come together, start something and make it successful, right? We don't always have to rely on non-medicals to get things done. We also can do it. So whether you're a student of cerebellum or not, it does not matter. As long as you're a doctor, as long as you're a, uh, as long as you're a medical student, all of us can be proud of it. It is this fact that we can do things on our own also. All right, let's talk about the things that matter. The entrance exams. Now I have few questions for you. Have you ever uh, observed or realized or you know yes. thought about this fact that certain colleges always seem to get the rankers? Yes. There are certain colleges in every city, every country, every state of this country where students tend to get selected more, right? And if you think about the differences. It's not that those colleges have less difficult internship. It's not that the students who study in those colleges have some you know, better resource available to them. It's not that they're more intelligent than others, but somehow there is something which is there in those colleges that gets them the better results. So today we'll try to find out what exactly happens in those colleges. Why is it so that certain students in certain colleges tend to get better results than others? We'll talk about it and we'll try to answer this question by the end of the presentation. We'll try to find out what the secret formula is and if actually there's a secret formula or not. All right, so let's talk about the preparation now. Now this is the toughest thing. This is the toughest thing. Setting the goal. What is the meaning of setting the goal? Say you are an intern in Bhardwan Medical College and you decide to prepare for the entrance exam. What are you going to aim for? Kya aim hai? The aim can be different for different people. Somebody may have a name ki, I just want to get selected. Kuch bhi mil jai. I just want to get selected. Some may have a bigger aim that I want to get a particular branch. Say somebody says, Mujhe koi bhi clinical branch mil jai. Somebody may aim higher ki, Mujhe, I want to get into the top branches. I want to get radiology or orthopedics or dermatology. And some of you might have even bit bigger aim that I want to do PG from Delhi only. I want to go into central institutes only. I have to enter AIMS, PGI, JIPMER or some of the bigger institutes. How many of us are able to aim for the top? Can I, can I have a show of hands? How many of you think about 
तो ये मन में आप आता है कि मुझे एम्स जाना है या पीजीआई जाना है या जिपमर जाना है हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू दिल्ली जाना दिल्ली जाना है <laughs> चलो ठीक है सो लाइक फाइव टेन परसेंट ऑफ अस और हम में से कितने लोग सोचते हैं कि यार कुछ मिल जाए समथिंग से क्लिनिकल मिल जाए ऐसा कितने लोग सोचते हैं और राइट ठीक है अब जो लोग एम्स पी के बारे में सोच रहे हैं एंड दो जो सिर्फ ये सोच रहे हैं कोई भी सिलेक्शन हो जाए Do you think there is any difference in the intelligence of these two people? Of course not, right? There is no difference in the intelligence of these two people. But who out of these two groups is more likely to go into AIMS or PGI? जिसने सोचा ही नहीं वो तो कभी जा ही नहीं सकता ना? It's as simple as that, right? So this is what I say, what I call as you know the problem of wrong assessment. So if if I am a medical student. And if I want, if I want to set a goal for myself, how will I go about it? मैं क्या सोचूँगा? The first thing I will think about is कि मैंने पिछले four and a half years में कितनी पढ़ाई की है, because I know my preparation level. Second, what I will think is how was I preparing or how how was I performing in the professional exam? Was I a topper in first prof, second prof, third prof or not? How was I? How were my results in comparison to my other batchmates or my other friends? And how was my PMT result? So I keep all those things in my mind, and then I make a aim for myself. This is the mistake that we make. This is what I call as wrong assessment. Why do I call it a wrong assessment? Because whether you got 50% marks in first prof, whether you got 52% marks in second prof, whether you got a supplementary, you had to appear for a supplementary exam in third prof, it does not really matter. when it comes to the entrance exam preparation let me repeat myself what i am trying to say is what whatever your performance was in the first year second year third year part 1 part 2 or third and final year it does not really matter when it comes to the entrance examination and why do i say so for a very simple reason how many of us give up give our best when we are preparing for the prof exam how many of you can say that you did your absolutely best When you were trying to prepare for the prof exam, कितने लोग हैं ऐसे जो कह सकते हैं कि मैंने बहुत मेहनत की? And how many of you went into that exam with a single aim that I just want to pass the exam? How many of you went to that exam with a single aim of passing? So I was the same, I was similar, right? So this is my point. जब हमने कोशिश ही सिर्फ पास होने की की थी, तो हमारे नंबर बहुत अच्छे आने नहीं थे, which is fine, right? इसमें कुछ गलती नहीं है. आप you cannot stay in that entrance exam mode for five years of your life, right? But the point I'm trying to make here is, we did not give our best effort. That is why we got what we got. But now, when we are talking about the entrance exam, this is the time that we are going to give our best efforts. And because now we are going to give our best efforts, the result can be anything. A, a mediocre student who got 60 or 70th rank in the college can get into Ames Delhi. Somebody who got a supply in a year. Can get into PGI, and these things happen every single year. I'm not trying to just motivate you guys. This is not my, you know, this is not a motivational speech. This is not a motivational speech. I'm just trying to, you know, bring certain facts in front of you that this is something that happens every year. Reason being, entrance exam is a different game. Default versus crucial junctions. What is the meaning of it? अपने medical career में मोस्टली वी आर इन द डिफॉल्ट मोड डिफॉल्ट मोड क्या होता है कि जो चल रहा है वो चलने दो जैसे अभी बोला ना आप सबने कि बस पास होना है फर्स्ट ईयर में आए क्या करना है पास होना है सेकेंड ईयर में आए करना है क्या है पास होना है थर्ड ईयर में क्या करना है पास होना है एक ही में पास होना ये है डिफॉल्ट मोड बट देन देर आर सर्टेन मूवमेंट्स और देर आर सर्टेन पीरियड्स ऑफ योर लाइफ विच आर कॉल्ड एज क्रिटिकल जंक्शन और क्रूशियल जंक्शन वाई डू वी कॉल दिन क्रूशियल जंक्शन बिकॉज दे दे आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉन्ग लास्टिंग इम्पैक्ट ऑन योर करियर्स आपके सेकेंड प्रॉफ और फर्स्ट प्रॉफ में 50 परसेंट आए या 55 परसेंट आए ये आपकी लाइफ में कोई नहीं पूछने वाला नो बडी केयर्स मुझे तो याद भी नहीं मेरे कितने परसेंट मार्क्स आए थे राइट right? लेकिन लेकिन इस साल ये क्लैप इस बात हुआ है कि मैंने मुझे याद नहीं है थोड़ा कंफ्यूजिंग क्लैप था सर सेम कैटेगरी चलो हाँ सो इट डज नॉट रियली मैटर लेकिन एंट्रेंस एग्जाम में आप क्या करने वाले हैं दैट इज गोइंग टू स्टे विथ यू फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ टूडे वेन आई स्टार्ट माई प्रेजेंटेशन आई डिड नॉट राइट हाउ मच मार्क्स आई गॉट इन माई फाइनल प्रॉफ एग्जाम बट आई रोट माई रैंक 
Had I written there I got 59% mark or 62% mark, you would not have gotten impressed. क्या फर्क पड़ता है? But जब मैं rank लिखूँगा तो आपको अच्छा लगेगा, right? So this is what we have to remember that this phase of your life, when you prepare for the entrance examination, is going to have a significant impact on what you do for the rest of your career. And this has to be your absolute best effort. You can no longer afford to be in the default mode. This is the time to get into that mode, the best mode that you can ever get into. So setting the goals, final comment on this slide is, we should not set goals on the basis of how we're we doing in those four years. We have to aim high and we have to aim high because we can go anywhere, we can reach anywhere we want to. And why do I so so? Students have been doing that for decades now. Right, the preparation phase. So once you decide that you want to get selected in a good college, you want to go to a bigger city, you want to go to a bigger college, you want to get into a central institute. The problem is how to keep yourself motivated. Now students, the problem is, no matter how good a motivation speak, speech anybody gives to you, no matter how nice a motivation speech you come across, the effect is going to last for hardly one or two days. Abhi aap log baitho yaha pe, probably aapko thara motivation mil raha hooga. Aapko lagta hai 48 hours ke baad aapko yeh motivation kaam karega. It doesn't work, right? Motivation is something which has got very small shelf life. After some time it fades away. That is why we have to solve this problem of motivation by having the role models. We need to have really good role models and this is one reason why people who go to certain colleges do better than other students. They have got plenty of role models. Agar aapke college se, maan lije last year, there was a senior who got a great rank, got a two digit rank in INICT or got a two digit rank in NEET PG. How does it help you? You can look at that guy and you can think ki if he could do it, I can also do it. This is the meaning of role model. Somebody with whom you can relate. The role models are not the YouTubers. Nowadays everybody is a YouTuber, right? The moment you get selected in an exam, you, the first thing that you do is, you start a YouTube channel, right? YouTube channel start karte hain aur aap bolte hain ki, my formula of getting success in six months. Getting three digit rank in three months, secret uncoded, right? Nothing wrong with that. Those students are not doing anything wrong. They are, see, they are young students, they want to tell their juniors certain things and they want to enjoy the social media higher, it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem is, sometimes the stories of these students which are there on YouTube, you can't really relate to those stories. Like a student comes and says, I have studied first aid and I have selected it for two months. Now, you can think that in two months I have first aid selection. You don't hear the story of his back story. जैसे मैंने बोला 40 days 125 रैंक आपको लगता है 40 days में ऐसा हो सकता है उसकी बैक स्टोरी मैंने अभी आपको नहीं बताई उसकी बैक स्टोरी बताई मैंने आपको मैंने अगर यूएसए में लेकर स्टेप वन दिया तो मैंने फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकंड पार्ट पढ़ा ही होगा अगर मैंने स्टेप टू दिया तो मैंने मेडिसिन सर्जरी पढ़ी so out of sync with what we feel and how we feel that you at times get confused more than getting motivated. So it's very important to have role models. Aapke college se jitska bhi senior ka selection hua hai, jo bhi rank aya hai unka, please stay in touch with them. It's extremely important. Please stay in touch with them. And tomorrow when you get selected, it's your responsibility, it's your duty to stay connected to your juniors. This is how great colleges are built, right? Great colleges are not built because they are in big cities. There are great colleges in Delhi, but there are very bad colleges in Delhi also. There are great colleges in Mumbai, there are very bad colleges in Mumbai also. It's not the city. Yaha pe aake mene word sikha peripheral college. Mujhe peripheral college mene pehli baar suna. Peripheral college kya hota hai? What is a peripheral college? Not in the main city. And how does it matter? How does it matter? Do you think you guys are any lesser than people who are sitting in Delhi, Mumbai or Calcutta? ऐसा मतलब अगर मन में कभी पायचांस आ भी जाए ना तो डेट्स अ फुलिश थॉट कॉलेज कहीं पे भी वो फर्क क्या पड़ता है एस लॉन्ग यू आर अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट यू आर एट सम लेवल एंड डेट लेवल इज क्वाइट हाई सो प्लीज नेवर लेट दिस थिंग्स बोल्डर यू पेरिफेरल कॉलेज गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज 
बड़ा कॉलेज छोटा कॉलेज सबसे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता एवरी ईयर आफ्टर द एग्जामिनेशन आई टेक इंटरव्यू ऑफ टॉपर्स एंड यू नो वेन आई लुक एट दैट लिस्ट सम ऑफ देम आर फ्रॉम बिग कॉलेज ऑफ डेली फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड देन देर स्टूडेंट्स वेन टू प्राइवेट कॉलेज बट गॉट वन ट्वेंटी रैंक वन फोर्टी रैंक वन फिफ्टी रैंक स्टूडेंट्स वर फ्रॉम द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑफ द सिटीज ऑफ द कंट्री बट दे गॉट अमेजिंग रैंक सो इनिशियली आई ऑल्सो यूज टू थिंक दैट इट मैटर्स अ लॉट बट नाउ आई नो इट इट हार्डली मैटर्स सो प्लीज वेन यू मेक अ गोल फॉर योर सेल्फ नेवर लेट दीज थिंग्स केम इन टू योर हेड right so the whole idea is stay in touch with your seniors make them role models talk to them ask them and that is how the motivation remains high when you keep talking to people who are successful when you keep seeing people whom you look up to whom you want to become like that keeps the motivation up all right there's another technique which is considered very powerful as far as motivation is concerned so if you guys are okay with it can can we have a live demo of that Correct? Yes, sir. All right. So it's a technique called as visualization. So what I want is, मैं कुछ बातें बोलूँगा. I'll say certain things, and you have to imagine those things in great details. Whatever I say, you have to imagine it in great details. आपको पूरा वो picture अपने मन में चलाना है. ठीक है? All right. So let's do it. Uh, close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes. Please close your eyes. All right. So we are visualizing something. What are we trying to visualize? we are trying to visualize the day the entrance exam results would be announced for you aap chahe kisi bhi year mein ho hame imagine karna hai ki aapka exam ho gaya hai aur result aa gaya hai and we are imagining that day now imagine yourself sitting in your home let's imagine that you are at your home imagine that you are sitting at your home and say you are in the drawing room imagine you are imagine yourself sitting on the chair in the drawing room of your home and imagine that there is a laptop in front of you on the table imagine it in great details and now you get a call the phone rings you pick the call and you are told that the results have been announced so the scene is that you are sitting in your drawing room the phone rang you pick the phone and a friend of yours told you that the results have been announced and now in the next scene what you do is you open your laptop you open the website and you enter your roll number you have entered your roll number the site is loading and now you see the result flashing on the screen imagine that laptop screen imagine your name written on the desktop on the site and there's a rank in front of your name the rank says that you got a rank of 143 all india imagine your name as vividly as possible and imagine 143 written in front of your name it has happened you have gotten selected not only have you gotten selected you have gotten a great rank keep your eyes closed what will you do next what is going to happen next imagine yourself standing up from the chair raising both arms above your head and shouting imagine yourself saying yes i did it finally it happened and now imagine picking up your phone and calling your mother imagine you open the keypad you open the contact list you select the name mom you call her the bell is ringing your mother picks the phone imagine that you tell her mom i did it mom हो गया फाइनली इट हैपन योर माम कान बिलीव यू योर माम कान बिलीव यू शी सेंग क्या हो गया क्या हुआ यू टेल हर मैम माम रिजल्ट आ गया सिलेक्शन हो गया आई वॉट रैंक वन फोर थ्री ऑल इंडिया आई एम गोइंग टू डेली योर माम कान कंटेन द एक्साइटमेंट योर माम स्टार्ट क्राइम यू ऑल्सो फील वेरी इमोशनल एंड देन यू डिसाइड टू कॉल योर फादर Imagine taking out that phone again. Imagine going to contact list. Imagine calling dad. Imagine your dad picking up the phone and you telling him that result आ गया. Imagine your father saying क्या हो गया and you telling him papa result आ गया. I got a rank one four three. I'll be going to Delhi. Imagine the excitement on his face. Imagine the happiness that would show up on his face. Imagine the scream of joy coming out of his mouth. 
and now the scene changes keep your eyes closed now it's no longer the result only things have happened counseling has happened and you are standing in front of a big delhi college let's call it maulana azad medical college let's call it safdarjang hospital let's call it aims delhi you are standing just outside that campus imagine yourself wearing that beautiful white apron imagine yourself wearing that beautiful stethoscope which is hung around your neck and you are standing in front of that beautiful building it's no longer a dream you are standing in front of the college and in the last step make another imagination now it's no longer just the college you have entered the college you have entered the building you are standing in front of the department you always wanted to become an orthopedician you always wanted to become a surgeon you always wanted to become a gynecologist you always wanted to become a psychiatrist whatever you wanted to become imagine the board of that department on a floor and imagine yourself standing in front of it there is nothing more beautiful than this this is this is your dream this is the dream that we live for the white coat the apron the stethoscope the college and the department now open your eyes was it beautiful can you believe that it can happen one day and if if it feels so good to imagine just imagine what will happen when it becomes a reality so this is the technique of visualization